Hey, hey, this is Curse John Dogs the Ball, Bob Bell for Theme Parks, and welcome to this video today from Bush Gardens Tampa. Now, of course, I have calmed down from the Thought Park rant. <laughs> um, but today's video is for Bush Gardens Tampa. Now, this is a very decent um, looking coaster, this RMC Quality, that was announced during. Um, one of their events. So this, so first of all, I've got the park's press release that they released. So, uh, of course, you saw the trailer in a separate video, but I'll um, um, show you this park uh, press release. So, manufactured by Rocky Mountain Construction, the newest addition at Busch Gardens will be a wooden steel hybrid coaster design featuring a maximum height of more than 200 feet tall. The ride will feature all new thrill elements as well as restored elements of Guazi. So, I like what they're doing there. There. Staying true to the original coaster, but they're also adding those hybrid sections that make the fans go wild. And I'm sure we'll get more details uh, in the next few months um, when, the summer, when, the, when, the, when the summer months start coming around. Now, of course, Bush Gardens Tampa, of course, uh, confirmed um, the new hybrid coaster opening 2020. It will not only be the tallest hybrid in North America, it will be the fastest and steepest hybrid coaster in the world. So I tell you what, they're going all out with this. Now, they haven't revealed much more than that. Of course, you saw the teaser video, uh, which I put online uh, just last night. Um, that looks very interesting as well, because you've got different um, parts of the... Well, you've got different parts of the layout. Is it just me, or when that when that train went down the first drop, did it look like it went sort of um, more than 90 degrees drop? I don't know if it looked like that, but is it uh, beyond 90 degree drop? I don't know, it just from the video it just saw very like, it saw, it just looked steeper than 90 degrees, but only just, only just. Um, which would be cool if it, if, if it is. Um... I think there was some nice inversions on there. Uh, from what I saw, I saw as it um, from one of the co well, from one of the images. He also saw a um, which I put well. I didn't put it on the thumbnail, but I put it on my Instagram. But uh, one of the images has got a zero G roll going through the lift hill structure, so that's going to be nice, like a Steel Vengeance type uh, zero G roll through the structure. Um, so I think I relate this very heavily to Steel Vengeance. Obviously, it's disappointing that. Uh, this isn't going to be one of those Mobius loop coasters where it has that dueling element um, Or a dueling coaster in itself like a traditional dueling. It's, it's sad that it's going to be uh, like one um, Sort of one You know coaster where it's got one lift hill. It's a shame about that But of course the other lift hill there was the uh, rumor that someone said a while back on the old video where I saw about the rumor details um, that there was going to be like a massive wave turn or a massive airtime hill on that second hill. So, again, that makes it even better because you get massive airtime. Or even that wave turn where, it, where you go up massive height and then fling you out your seat on an outward wave turn. Or an inward one, depending on what the concept art shows. Um, but I'm very happy. Uh, in terms of, I know on the animation for the trailer it had like an orange type of track. Um... On the concept image, which I put on my Instagram, and I'm sure a lot of other people put on their Instagram, um, it had purple rails. So I'm not sure exactly what the colour they go for. Probably the orange because of um, the teaser trailer and you know they're trying to show off what it will look like. Um, it seems like they've painted the supports as well. Uh, comment down below what you think about that. Does it look nicer um, than it did? I mean. I know the supports looked quite ugly-ish, in a way. Um, but it's going to be nice. It's going to be a nice addition to the park. Um, of course, we still don't know the name and the theme, which I'm assuming is going to be announced in the summer. Um, now, of course, the name I predicted was something like Uproar. Because uh, we've already got, well, either Uproar or Twisted Tiger, because we've already got Tigris, which is going to be uh, the Premier Scarlet 2 opening uh, this year. Um, so I sort of assumed that the other, either one of the other two names, Uproar and Twisted Tiger, um, would be the name for RMC Guazi. So I'm sticking, uh, no matter how many people say, uh, it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong, I'm going to stick by that principle because I've just got a gut feeling it'll be one of those two names. So, 
There we go. So that's the new details that my RMC got. Like I said, I'm very, very excited for this project. You've got Busch Gardens, Williamsburg, adding a new coaster. Tab Pirelli RMC Guazi, SeaWorld San Diego doing a dive cut, Bido dive. Um, SeaWorld Orlando's got that rumoured launch coaster, and SeaWorld San Antonio's got that rumoured uh, wooden coaster. So, again, SeaWorld and Busch Gardens are going to be adding a lot of things uh, in 2020. So, uh, this, and this doesn't go without saying the rest of the parks in the world in 2020 are going to be busy as well because you've got Paltons Park. Doing a Mac spinning coaster, or as Relicoast Database says, a Mac Extreme spinning coaster, but a family version, so that's going to be interesting. Um, it's it's, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. So, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a video. You're probably wondering why I'm not comparing this to Zadra at Energy Landia because that's the thing that Bush Gardens Tampa need to do. They need to check their facts before they make a video. <laughs> Last thing I knew, I think Zadra was taller, um, so I think that's that's kind of why they go for the tallest in North America, but the fastest and steepest in the world. Um, so, I think people are comparing this a lot to a cross between Zadra and Steel Vengeance, so it's nice to see that co uh, that comparison, but it's nice to st see Steel Vengeance now has, well, to be fair, two competitions, one in Europe and one in America with Zadra uh, and RMC Guazi, so... There we go, so thank you very much. My name is Coast Shell, keep in the coast off my dudes, and I'll see you guys in the next video soon. Take care, have an awesome day!